Remdesivir, the first antiviral drug that stops COVID-19 virus from replicating, is being now officially approved for its use. Sunki. Hi everybody, it's your pharmacist Sunki here. On 12 July 2020, the Therapeutic Goods Administration of Australia has granted provisional approval to Remdesivir as the first treatment option for COVID-19. Remdesivir has also been authorized by FDA USA for emergency use to treat COVID-19 in early May 2020. Today we are going to explore more about this remdesivir. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button now and thumbs up. Without further ado, let's rock it. What is remdesivir? Remdesivir, also known as GS5734, brand name Veclari, is an antiviral medication developed by biopharmaceutical company Gillette Sciences. What is it used for? Remdesivir is currently being used to treat moderate to severe cases of COVID-19 patients. It is originally developed to treat hepatitis C and was tested against Ebola virus and Marburg virus, but was ineffective. However, the great news now is it has shown to reduce the time of recovery and hospitalization for COVID-19 patients by 31%, which is from 15 days of hospitalization down to 11 days of hospitalization. It also slightly decreased the likelihood of patient dying from the virus. Now, 31% may not seem a lot. But it is a huge milestone that a drug that could actually stop the virus is discovered, and from here on, further development would mean more and more hope to find a hundred percent cure for COVID-19. How does it work? COVID-19 virus replicates by copying their genetic material using an enzyme as a catalyst called RNA-dependent RNA polymerase. Also known as RNA replicase, remdesivir is an inhibitor of RNA replicase, thus preventing genetic material being copied, thus stop the replication of the virus. What are the side effects of remdesivir? Like all medication, it comes with side effects. Yet, as long as the benefit outweighs the risk of side effects. We push through and use the medication. Number one, increased liver enzyme levels, which may indicate liver damage. Number two, nausea and vomiting. Nausea and vomiting are typical side effects of antiviral medication. What are the dosages of remdesivir that is currently prescribed? An initial one-time dose of two hundred milligram, followed by one hundred milligram per day. For ten days, drug interactions. Now, because this is a very new medication, there is not much information in regards of its interaction. But to date, remdesivir is not believed to affect other medication. However, other medication will increase or reduce the levels of remdesivir in the blood. Remdesivir dosage would need to be adjusted in these cases. So remember to let your doctor know all the medication that you are on. This includes all supplements that you purchase without a script. Some antibiotics that may interact with remdesivir are clarithromycin and rifampicin. Pregnancy. Tell your doctor if you are pregnant, plan or become pregnant. It is unknown if remdesivir will affect the fetus. In rats and monkeys, remdesivir affected kidney development in fetuses. Breastfeeding. It is unknown if remdesivir passes into breast milk. Consult your doctor before breastfeeding. So, in a nutshell, remdesivir is the first antiviral drug that has shown to stop the replication of novel coronavirus. Although it has only shown to reduce hospitalization time and slightly reduce the mortality rate, but it is exciting news. It seems like we're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. We hope from here onwards there will be more and more medication like this being developed.
Remember, remdesivir is not a silver bullet in treating COVID-19. This medication is also not cheap, and in order to supply it to the whole world, it will take time. So we shouldn't be complacent with our hygiene and self-protection from the virus. Remember to wash your hands frequently with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. There is a proper technique to that. I've made a video on how to wash your hands properly so that your hands are safe. I'll put the link down below for you so you can watch it later. If soap and water is not available, use hand sanitizers that are strong enough to kill the virus. Now, there shouldn't be any shortages of hand sanitizers anymore at this stage. But if you have trouble finding it, I have made a video following WHO World Health Organization guidelines in making hand sanitizers that are strong enough to kill the virus. I will also put the link down below for you. And remember to avoid any unnecessary outgoing. If you are out, wear a face mask. Social distancing at least 1.5 meter or even better, 2 meters if possible. I've also made other videos about the treatment for COVID-19 such as dexamethasone and hydrochloroquine. I'll put the links down below for you so you can check them out as well. Now that's all for now. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button and thumbs up and follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. My handle is at SunkiOfficial. Besides a pharmacist, I'm also a singer-songwriter, a music producer and an actress. If you are interested in knowing my other life, check me out on my other playlist. And let me know down in the comments below what other topics you would like me to cover. It's your pharmacist Sunki here with lots of love. See you around.